What? There's a size reference. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Dude, that, that's like a newborn, right? Yeah. What is going on, people? It is another day of, you guessed it, herping with your boy. Uh, not, well, I'm alone right now, but I am meeting up with my buddy Brandon again today. And we're gonna get out there to a brand new area, brand new county for me, try to find some cool snakes. So uh, I'm not even gonna tell you what we are targeting. We're just gonna get out there and hope we see them. And uh, if we do, we do. If we don't, we don't. There is a storm coming through soon. So we're hoping that stirs things up. Sometimes heading out right before a storm can really be a good time. And the snakes will be uh, sometimes out moving in, in good numbers. So hoping that's the case. Don't know for sure it is herping. And you know, when you're herping, you just, you never know how things are gonna go. You never know what you're gonna see, what you're gonna run into. So let's just get out there. Let's have a good time and try to find some snakes. <laughs> The gas station essentials. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a copperhead. And that's uh, a. You can a, tell it's like got a little yeah. bit of both in it. So it looks like. Yeah, I've never seen even, one so hard. Yeah, oh my gosh. First copperhead I've seen in this area. Brand new area for me. Brandon's been here in the past. But that is a beautiful snake. Nice little copperhead. Not too big. They get quite a bit bigger than this, but cool snake to start the day. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Brandon just spotted this gorgeous ribbon. Nice little uh, red stripe and western ribbon to integrate. Slowly cruising. He's doing that little head bob <laughs> in the wind. Pretty. Yeah, he's got that little blue chin. Western ribbon. Not a bad copperhead and a ribbon so far, and it's it's not dark quite yet. You good with him? Yeah. All right, we're gonna let this ribbon go. Keep moving before the storm comes through. Neat little find though. Time to get back right. on the road. copperhead the second one we actually got up to to see um the last one got off the road before we could get to it but all three have been about around the same range same size range would you say this is like a normal yeah. about average size i'm gonna pull up to the side because there's a car okay take your time definitely need snake it seems like the copperheads in particular are moving tonight being as this is the uh, third one we've seen crossing the road coming out here neat Three copperheads and a ribbon snake. Not too bad, still early in the night. Definitely can see some cool stuff. So, sweet pine though. Coppers are very interesting snakes. They'll, uh, they'll eat a variety of insects, which is pretty interesting. Cicadas, caterpillars, no matter. <laughs> He's healthy. Mm -hmm. Cool. Dude, that's bigger. That one's bigger. Yep. That, that one's like a couple of years older. Yeah. Yeah, he's got some size. Copperhead number four. Heck yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Like, <laughs> you hear that? 
into the abyss. It's a cutie pie. I didn't even know they make them that small. <laughs> look, look at that zipper pattern. Dude, what? That's wild. I mean, let me give you guys a size, a size reference right now, but I mean, <laughs> what? There's a size reference? Yeah. <laughs> Dude. That, that's like a newborn, right? Yeah. He's still got his little, uh, his little, uh, caudal lure, yep. Fluorescent green. That's neat. So cool. I'm like... Look how well that would blend in right there. Walk right past that. Yeah, literally. Like if I look away for 10 seconds and look back, like, <laughs> where is it? That's cool. I'm just trying to turn this one on. Really? That's awesome. Brandon with the eagle eyes. Another another little copperhead. Number six of the day. Six of the night. Another little, eh, little bigger than a newborn, but. Super tiny. One last shot of this little, <clears throat> this little copperhead. This is probably like a couple months old, something like that. Not fresh, but definitely pre pretty young. He's still got his little caudal lure on the back of his tail, that bright yellow which they'll use to uh, attract uh, prey towards them and then eat them. I wish we were filming that. Dude. Literally though, it's crazy. <laughs> this is our seventh copperhead tonight, I think. Yeah. Decent sized. It's weird. The copperheads are all the copperheads got the uh got the signal to start moving tonight, but nothing else did. <laughs> One ribbon snake. Hoppers are cool. Where is he going though? Did he go off the road? Or... Not too sure. Dude, he just keeps turning back around. Yeah. Same, buddy. Go on, get. Get. Sweet. Yeah, that'll do. Periscoping up at you. Uh-huh. Look at that. He's doing he's like interested in me. Think some food? What the heck? That's something different. Good stuff. It's getting a little later. Haven't seen much, but nice sized Texas rat. We'll take it. Look at him flattening his head out like that. Oh yeah, he's real hungry. Wow. <laughs> oh, he's like, wait, <laughs> that's not food. That was funny. Oh man, he's pretty. That might be a little female. Hmm. Cool little find. We're gonna let this let this big one go. Good size. Okay. Dude. Okay. You might smell it. Yeah.
Nice little change up from the uh, 20 copper heads. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. I was like hoping it was something else. <laughs> Damn it. It's another copperhead. Kill it! <laughs> That's like copperhead number eight or something of the night. Another little guy. A little bit bigger than the some of the small ones we've been seeing. Cool size. Oh, okay. Well, we've seen uh, more than a handful of copperheads tonight, so I'm not going to spend too much time with this guy. Maybe just grab a quick picture and then I'm going to keep going. Little armadillo.